you like Jurassic Park? Cool collectibles? Receiving gifts every month? Well, here, in this month's box of blue crate, check out this awesome crate they just sent me. A blue poster for my wall, an engine mug to smoke a dinosaur embryos in, the best socks of all time, new pajama pants that will stay on no matter what, this awesome t-shirt you can't find anywhere else, and this other awesome shirt, all here. Oh, and yeah, this. Come on, that's pretty awesome. So if you want cool stuff like this sent to your house every month, then you want to check out Loot Crate and DX, their premium edition monthly subscription boxes. So whether you like Harry Potter, Jurassic World, Marvel, video games, Hello Kitty, etc., Loot Crate has something for you. You really don't want to miss out on these awesome boxes, guys. So get in now, sign up, and you'll feel like a little kid again every month when you receive your next assorted Loot Crate.
Save up to 20% during Specs Fall Sale.
almost 25 years, Smart Wool has been making merino wool socks and apparel designed to keep you comfortable. Because we want to help you play. In honor of the new Jurassic World movie coming out a few days ago, we reacted to a T-Rex evolution. And you guys absolutely love that video. So today, we're bringing back the T-Rex. But he is being mixed with Godzilla. Yeah, you heard that right. We got T-Zilla Rex versus Spinozilla versus Zilla Jr. Now, I don't think Zilla Jr. is going to do very good in this battle. Spinozilla and T-Rex Zilla, they sound savage. But I mean, go ahead and cast your vote in the comments. Between T-Rex and Spino, who do you think is going to win? I'm going to go ahead and say T-Zilla Rex. I just like me some T-Rex. This video is by Picky. I'll throw him up on the screen right now so you can see them. Let's go ahead and dive right in here to what looks like the ocean. Is that where we're starting? We got the ocean right here, and of course, we're starting with the shark. I don't know why, but hey, okay. Sharks are in the ocean. <laughs> don't tell me Sharkzilla's gonna be here, too. Oh, great. Let me guess. We've got a T-Rex skull right here. By the way, with his eye hanging out. That, that's pretty gross, but then next to him... You could see all those things with the toxic goo in them. Bro, I don't know why they keep dumping toxic waste into the ocean. They're just gonna keep getting things like this. Maybe it doesn't happen, though. We got an earthquake of some sort. I don't... What is that? Oh my gosh, that's Spinozilla, isn't it? I can't see his face yet. But from the backside, that thing looked pretty scary. We could see him out of the water now. Like I said, let me know in the comments who do you think will win. I'm not giving Zilla Jr. any chance in this fight. Okay, hold up now. How in the world did that skull get up to the land? Maybe the skull crawler carried it up. Maybe I'm thinking too much. Okay, well, let's just keep going. I'm thinking too much. But at least he got him away from the, the toxic waste. Is Spinozilla that huge? The skull crawler was like this big to him. Oh, Zilla Jr. I feel sorry for you already. And I haven't even fully seen Spinozilla yet. He just keeps hitting his tail on the ground. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, before he even roars, I've got to pause right here. Can we take a moment and appreciate the work? I mean, that mouth for one, he kind of just looks like a big skull. But anyways, that looks absolutely crazy. And Zilla Jr. Zilla Jr.'s going down. I would like to see Zilla Jr. do good, but let me hear that roar, though. Okay. Let's go, Zilla. I'm not... Oh, my gosh. It's purple. What atomic breath is he going to have? It's the double Shin Godzilla breath. Or not breath. Beam, I guess. But he's got two of them. And he can just power it up even more. I guarantee you, by the way, he'll be able to do some sort of, like, back beams, right? Just by the way those were, like, sparking up at the tops. Dang, Zilla Jr. did not last very long, did he? Poor Zilla. Oh, here we go. I knew it. It's always the toxic waste. Now it wasn't in the ocean. Disrespectful. Hey, okay, listen here, Spino Zilla. You already destroyed Zilla Jr., right? I mean, he's on his back. Uh, you don't have to keep stepping on him. That might make T. Zilla Rex even more mad. Oh, hold up. That looked crazy, too. Let me see this character right now. Ah! Oh, my goodness. Let me hear the roar. Okay, I, I gotta pause for a minute because I can hear the sort of T-Rex noise in the back. But you can also hear like a hint of the Godzilla roar. This character right here might be on my top, like top of my list right now. There we go. You can hear that Godzilla finish. But here we go. We got the battle now. Who do you think? Like top of my list right now. There we go. You can hear that Godzilla finish. Sort of T-Rex noise in the back. But you can also hear like a hint of the Godzilla roar. This character right here might be on my top, like on top of my list right now. There we go. You can hear that Godzilla finish. But here we go. We got the battle now. Who do you think is going to win? I'm picking T-Rex Zilla or T-Zilla Rex. What about his atomic breath? It's a fire breath. He's got fire atomic breath. Okay, yep. That's pretty much confirming my pick. T-Zilla Rex, I'm going with him this whole video. I don't care what happens. That's my boy. Woo! And you can hear the fire, by the way. That sounded really cool. It's like an atomic breath, but 
fire at the same time. Okay, I, that right there, you know. I and you can hear the fire, by the way. That sounded really cool. It's like an atomic breath, but fire at the same time. Okay, I, that right there, you know, I thought Spinozilla was doing some disrespectful stuff. Stepping on him. But my man Tzilla Rex wasn't even in this fight. Grabs Zilla's head, starts beating it into the ground. That is mighty disrespectful right there. He didn't even do nothing to him. And then sets him on fire? That is so disrespectful. Spino was like, hey man, you ain't taking my kill. He's over here, kill still. Oh, he's coming back with the vengeance. Okay, Zilla got out of there. At least Zilla Jr. wasn't dead. That's all I care about. Ooh. Here we go, T-Rex. I'm gonna call them T and Spino. That's the names. Two tail whips, three of them? Okay, he missed the third. And then a beam to the back? Ooh. Hey, Spinozilla kind of cheating, though. If you pick Spinozilla right now, you're looking good because he's got all those beams. He's got at least two right here. And I'm pretty sure that he can do it out the back, too. Jumping on his back. Hold up now. Is he going to, like, bite him? He tried to. Oh. He got tossed right off. That a boy, T. I got T all the way, like I said. Uh-oh. He's about to get set on fire. This atomic breath is lethal. Ooh, that's one of my favorite ones that I've seen made, by the way. That looks so good. T Rex Zilla. Crazy looking character. Oh no, you better get up, Spino. Oh, wait, what if he hits the back beams now? He's on his stomach, so it would be the perfect time to do it. Let's see, he's about to scratch him. I could just feel it in my bones. Not only does he have the back beams, uh, can we take a look at how many there are? There is at least four of them, and they're going everywhere. It's not just a straight line like the atomic breath or anything like that. They are going every which way, hitting everything. And now, we got the battle back. Let's see. Still got my boy, T. Oh, get off your back, T. Oh, no. My pick is about to go down. Don't rip his head off. Who picked Spino? You might be about to win here. Ah! Wait a minute. Is that a reverse kiss of death that I'm looking at right now? That might be one of the most disrespectful things I've ever seen in my life. A reverse kiss of death. You know, usually the kiss of death. Godzilla's on top. Whoever's on bottom. But there we go. Tzilla Rex just absolutely destroyed Spinozilla. And he hit the roar over top. You already know he had to do that. That is the end of this video. And to be honest with you, that might be one of my favorite animations I've seen in a little bit. Big shout out to Picky. And if you picked Tzilla Rex, let me know in the comments. Other than that, I will see you on tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching with me. I love ya. Goodbye. Mi papá necesita cuidado médico personalizado y no confío en cualquiera. Elegimos con Viva Care Center porque son... Godzilla has battled a lot of weird enemies on this channel. But today, I feel like this is his weirdest one yet. We're going to have a battle between Godzilla and Starro. I think that's how you say his name. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know much about this character at all. All I do know is that he's a giant, like, pink and blue starfish looking thing. If you know anything about him, let me know in the comments. But today, he's going to be fighting my boy G in two separate videos. Both of these creators in the description, by the way. If you want to check him out after. And let me know who you got in this battle. Do you have Starro? Do you have Godzilla? I'm going with Godzilla. You know me. Come on now. We can't be picking against Godzilla. Isn't Starro like John? Whew. 
Suicide Squad movie. He's just making a bunch of mice jump out of the ground. Okay, that was pretty cool. Nom nom. We got nom nom here. <laughs> oh my goodness. He just ate one of them. He said, forget about it. I like starfish. What is this guy? He just changed them into ladies or something? I'm so confused about what's going on right now. I'm not going to lie to you. Where's Godzilla? I mean, the second part of the title is what if Godzilla was in Suicide Squad? And there... There's Mr. Starro. Or however you say his name. If I'm saying it wrong, let me know. Who is this guy? Oh, he's got the weaponry. I've got no. Let's see if it does any damage. Giant eye fish that be slime. Okay. The shark versus Nom Nom. I forgot the shark's name. That was a very quick fight. I actually want to see that again. My boy got kicked a mile. Look at him. He's just trying to hug him. Psych. Starro said, I know how to play soccer. It, it, you're done. Oh. <laughs> that had to hurt. Oh. He just squashed him like that. Okay, Harley Quinn. I think that's her. She's still alive. For now. Oh my, could you imagine if you were at the top of a building or something? You weren't necessarily looking for it, but this thing popped up right in front of you. A giant eyeball. What would you do? I'd probably pass out right then and there. I've said that so many times in past videos, but I mean, could you blame me? She tried, I guess. How is he still alive? Oh, they're not. They definitely aren't. And neither is Harley Quinn. Oh my! Godzilla coming in, saving the day? The shark man, you need to be thankful right now. Godzilla just saved your entire life. Intense music in the background, by the way. You already know it's gotta be intense. My boy G just pulled up to the park. Bring on the to-do list. Every home project is an opportunity. Ooh, that was a pretty mean roar too. Who do you got, guys? Wait a minute. Now, now let's look at the size comparison right here. Starro, however you want to. Ooh, that was a pretty mean roar too. Who do you got, guys? Wait a minute. Now, now let's look at the size comparison right here. Starro, however you want to say his name, he's kind of tiny compared to Godzilla. I thought he was gonna be like at least the same size. But no, this is not even close. If that's actually how tall he is, Godzilla could just eat him. Look at him, he's like, oh no, I'm not doing anything. It got disrespectful real fast. I thought he was gonna like bite him, do anything like that. Nah, he was slamming him everywhere. I like this, good job G, good job buddy. And then roared in his eye. I was going to say in his face, but he's just got an eyeball. Where did he just throw him? That looked like a pretty far throw to me. Godzilla appeared for like two seconds, by the way, and it was over. Don't friends. <laughs> Said friends. Oh, he put him on his back. Godzilla appeared for like two seconds, by the way, and it was over. Don't friends. <laughs> Said friends. Oh, he put him on his back. Big shout out to my boy G, always saving the day. Now, where's Starro? I want to see where he threw... Where he threw him? My boy got tossed into outer space. That's the end of the first one. That one was by Pivot Master, by the way. This one is by UG. And who do you got in this one? You got Starro? Or you got Godzilla? I still got Godzilla. Maybe this one's like a difference in size. Maybe something different happens. Yeah, I'm not thinking so. Okay, I mean, as we can see, Starro in this one, he's a little bit bigger. But I mean, a very little bit. Godzilla is still very much taller than him, and I still think the same thing's gonna happen. Godzilla's gonna... Godzilla's gonna destroy. I can feel it in my bones. But maybe Starro, you know, maybe this time, he caught some training a little bit. 
<laughs> Never mind. Never mind. He got kicked all the way back into a building. Oh, no, not again. Not again. Don't throw. Oh! He just shot out a little starfish baby onto Godzilla's face. Oh, no, not again. Not again. Don't throw. Oh! He just shot out a little starfish baby onto Godzilla's face. I didn't even know he could do that, by the way. Why does Godzilla just not even look phased? Kong and Godzilla? Oh, wait a minute. Does that mean he can control him now that the starfish is on his face? Because I think that's what was happening to the humans when those tiny starfishes were there. I think I'm picking some stuff up here. So that's what he should have done. And now he's going to attack Kong as Godzilla. But it's really Starro. Oh, great. Take the starfish off his face, Kong. There you go. Kong's like, hey man, what in the world was that? Are they both gonna fight Starro? That would be a quick battle. They just rip him in half, probably. Are they going back? Oh yeah, here's Starro. Still in the city, by the way. He hasn't destroyed any buildings yet. Uh, we appreciate that over here. But now G has returned. And let's see what happens this time. He's like, wait a minute, you're back? Pretty much the same thing that happened in the last video. He's trying to punch him, but it's not doing much to him. He's too big. 